Welcome back, uh, YouTube. I'm Gekrons. Life on Earth. Yeah, I'm Flail. Okay, so we're gonna look at, uh, about Oxfam. So, this was the group where I got some of the content for, well, some of the information. Like that, uh, feminist scorecard in the last video. Uh, apparently it's printer friendly, so uh, let's begin. So we got a bunch of jackasses here. Awesome. Uh, how is Oxfam gonna fix everything? Okay, let's begin. This is their little mission, I guess. Uh, Oxfam Canada's mission is to build lasting solutions to poverty and justice with a focus on improving the lives and promoting the rights of women and girls. I'm not asking to fix poverty, I mean, give them the right to put on whatever makeup they want to or dress however they want or how slutty they wish is, I guess, going to fix poverty? I don't think so. Buying with slutty clothes is good for the economy. It's good for the economy if they've got slutty clothes to buy. But, no. Okay, Let, let's, <laughs> let's look at this. <clears throat> Ending global poverty begins with women's rights. Bullshit! It begins with a strong agricultural, you know, focus point. It begins with a strong economics. It begins with being able to fucking feed your people at least basic fruits and vegetables for Christ's sake and actually having drinkable water. And, you know, not killing each other. That That's a good one right there. And, you know, getting rid of dictatorships. Because obviously they're pointing at Africa here. God, those guys get pointed at quite frequently. Okay, so we got a... Uh, I'm assuming it's Africa. So, uh, we're going to end poverty in Africa. Okay, how are we going to do this? Uh, are you guys going to finally sign up, say, hey, let's go shoot those, you know, dictatorships and wipe out those regimes? Uh, I, you're not going to do that. You just want your right to wear the mini, like those mini skirts, look slutty and not get touched. Not even have a guy compliment on you. Because apparently that's sexism, so don't give me that shit. All right, Oxfam is part of the global movement to change, uh, change made up of. Okay, what the fuck? All right, Oxfam. Okay, there it is. Okay, movement for change made up of 19 Oxfam affiliates working in more than 90 countries to mobilize the power of people against poverty. So, which 90 countries are we talking about here? Because clearly I think that's a pile of crap. And I don't think having women's rights just equally distributed all over the place is going to fix poverty. Now what you need is more farmland to do that so you can raise cattle and actually have a sustainable food source. I don't think that's going to work. Okay, working with Canadians, our partners and allies around the world, Oxfam Canada, Canada strives to empower individuals, communities, and organizations to build a world without poverty where all human beings are valued and treated equal. Yeah, well, that's not what feminism or this place is all about. I doubt it. What if we poke poverty with a stick? Poke it. That would be way more effective than what these clowns are preaching, so frankly, I think that would work a hell of a lot better. Okay, a world where women and girls have control over their lives and enjoy their full human rights. Well, clearly, clearly we don't need it in Canada or America or Britain. So why don't we just get rid of that, and if you want to really fix the human rights, get rid of fucking Islam. Just completely outright, because Sharia law is part of Islamic belief. Heck, just burn all Koran. And while you're at it, let's get rid of uh, religion just in general. Just outright get rid of it. Just annihilate it. That would uh, probably fix a lot of the problems right there. Religion has always caused the most wars and the most bloodshed on this planet. So let's get rid of that. While we're at it, let's get rid of feminism. It's had its time. It's done. It's over. Fuck off. <clears throat> Our world vision... Our vision is is a just world without poverty. Well, that's everyone's vision. We envision a world where which, in which people influence the decisions which affect their lives. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Enjoy their rights and live as full citizens in a world. Well, in Canada, women live more than just citizens. They are the... Well, 
they're the ones that we just put automatic value to just because they have a pussy. He's got to go check some shit. Out the door. Hold on. Ah, Jesus Christ, life. Hey, life on his back. All right, let's get back to this. Uh, our mission is to build lasting solutions to poverty and justice with a focus on improving the lives and promoting the rights of women and girls. Um, <clears throat> again, as I just said, women and girls have more rights than men and boys. Look at the divorce court system. But look at marriage in general, let's just uh, start there. <laughs> Actually, I don't even need to start there. It's been stated so many times in so many videos. Uh, look at uh, Voice for Men by Paul Elam. Uh, look at uh, Sandman, uh, pretty much anybody that uh, does MGTOW videos. You look at them and they'll, they pretty much lay it out for you perfectly. So, frankly, I don't, even, I don't even need to cover that. We mobilize our people and resources in Canada and around the world to change policies, practices, attitudes, and behaviors to create inequality and in human suffering. Um, you know, that created, okay. Um, hmm. uh, there's still human suffering in the uh, Middle East, so you guys did absolutely shit there. Along with China, um, women's rights still suffer in a lot of the Oriental countries and Middle Eastern countries, um, and Africa as well, so bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Fuck you. Um, you're just bitching that you don't have enough rights here in the West, in Western civilization, which you have way more than I got. I can pretty much guarantee you that, and you guys are actually championed to succeed where guys are well, fuck you guys you have everything male privilege male privilege white privilege too white male privilege bullshit um we are committed to strengthening a global movement in support of human rights and gender justice on a healthy planet well if we want a healthy planet let's uh get rid of black lives matter let's get rid of feminism because those are just two toxic movements that have no real weight and merit in the modern age anymore. I mean, maybe if it was back in the fucking 60s. Maybe. In the feminist movement, it's already been done and just, just stop. Just stop. Uh, so now we're going to fix the screen here so you guys can see everything. Let's move it over. Ah, there we go. Sweet. Now I'm over here. Awesome. I like the screen jump. <laughs> All right. So, what have we covered? Uh, oh, why women's rights? Gap between rich and poor is widening. Yeah, and that's both men and women. So let's continue. The gender is a main predicator. Predictor. Oh, sorry. For who will end up poor and who will end up with the power. Mm. We live in a rich world yet. Um, uh, ladies, you want to fix that? Get more ambition. Stop staying in minimum wage jobs and pull your heads out of your asses. Try asking for the promotions. We help. While you're at, why don't you start paying for your own stuff and you'll actually have more uh, more self-respect. You'll actually actually go after what you're worth. So, More than 70% of people living less than a dollar a day are women. That's because if you look at the world around, uh, like I said, in the Orient, in the Middle East, and in Africa, and in some Eastern countries, like Middle Eastern Europe countries, um, 
Yeah, women don't have the right to work. That's not us. Fix those countries. I dare you. There's no more need for you in Canada, America, or Britain, or any real Western society-based country, because you have all the rights. In Spain, there's a law that a woman can pretty much claim abuse against any man, have him thrown in jail, the judge has to prosecute him. It's guilty until proven innocent. And most of them, on average, will spend a month to three months in, j in prison. Sorry, not jail, prison. Spain's fucking criminal rate is through the damn roof, and most of those guys, it's false bullshit anyways. So, frankly, women, you have all the rights. If I was to go to campus, any college campus or any university campus around the world, because, I, you know, I'm done fucking reading this crap. This is bullshit. You can check it yourself. It's, uh... Uh, about Oxfam, all you do is type in oxfam.canada.ca and you'll find it. There's a whole bunch of crap in there. Take a look around and it'll be funny as fuck for you to laugh at. They even want you to donate, so fuck you Oxfam. I'm not fucking donating. But as I was going to say, if you, uh, if you go to any college or university campus, if you're a guy like me, white, male, and uh, a woman decides that she doesn't like you, you... She can just scream rape against you. You'll probably get kicked off college long before it's proven false, and boom, your your reputation is fucked. It's destroyed. Now the MGTOWN movement, I will say, has made tremendous strides to try to bring awareness. And along with the MR MRAs, uh, I've got great respect for both groups. And uh, you know, it comes down to one thing: uh, women need to realize their privilege the minorities need to realize their privilege and their racist attitudes towards white guys hell we've seen more signs saying kill all white white males and pigs in a blanket fry like bacon thank you black lives matter for that bullshit than anything else and women saying hashtag kill all men and I'm the sexist I'm the racist. That's it for this video. I think I've covered what needs to happen. If you guys want to read the rest of it, like I said, Oxfam. Just look at About Oxfam. is right there. And uh, if you like the content, like the video, uh, like, subscribe, share. Please drop your comments down below. And don't forget to check out Life on Earth, that channel. It's good if you're a computer, if you're a computer tech guy you like doing editing, and you like seeing some wacky videos, check it out. It's pretty good, and you'll have fun with that. It's just one of those laid-back channels where there's no real political discussion. Or any other bullshit, except for that. Uh, what was the other channel you had there? Seriously? I'm gonna smack you. I'm going to slap life on Earth because he's got another channel. We're going to try to get that information out to you as soon as possible. Oh, and update. We are uh, going to be working on our website. It's a combined website between my channel and life on Earth. And uh, there's going to be one other channel I think we're going to add, and that might be uh, Zafros. Any of you guys that are followers of the Zafros, please check out this website. I think you will enjoy it. If you're a gamer, we will try to have some Flash games on there for you. And uh, maybe later on, we'll try to have some merchandise on there. If you become very big fans, hell, make sure you buy one. We might try in the future. It's going to be a while, because I still need to see more support on the channel before we get in, into that endeavor. We're going to try to get hats, shirts, pants, whatever you want. I might try to build a foundry and make little decorative items that you can stick on your desk. Like I said, show us some more support, keep subscribing, liking, and sharing this stuff. Get this out there as far as the eye can see. Butt plugs? No, we're not doing butt plugs. Maybe. Boring. Well, I don't think anybody wants butt plugs. I, do I don't know. Exist? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to make a Twitter account so you guys can talk to me and you can follow me there. Um, not really a big fan of Facebook because there's just too much bullshit. Uh, I'll see what I can do on that front for you. And uh, I'll try to do a video uh, pretty much laying out what's going on. 
All right, everybody, I'm out. I'm Gekaran saying uh, have a good night. For those of you who love the content, thank you. For those of you who didn't, fuck you.